What's up Rockstars, this is Alex Bourne coming at you from the Midwest and today I'm going to talk about uh, my Les Paul special. I nicknamed it Woodstock, like the bird in the Peanuts cartoon. Um, the colors are actually called TV Yellow um, and this particular model was um, purposefully uh, made without like a lacquer on top so that the paint would wear away where you use it the most and you can see that's obviously what has happened on my guitar you see the wear here here and you know, on the back of the neck it uh, it looks really it looks kinda old and a lot of people ask me how old it is and I like to joke around with them and say it's 72 something like that but it's actually a 2002 model um, but um, yeah um, most of this was done by me it was very very uh, light when it, when I got it but uh, this was, was my main guitar all the way through music school and uh, through engineering school is my my main gig gig guitar and so I used it a lot so probably six years of heavy use and uh, that's what that'll do um, this part here is especially worn away because um, cause my fingernails are long on this hand because of I play finger style guitar and classical guitar with fingernails and just kind of wore away the finish there but um, it's uh it's cool it's uh it, it kind of made me realize uh, um, this isn't my favorite color to look at but um, I think that the color and the fact that it's worn away kind of speaks to people and to me that's cooler than um, you know the vibe that it gives off is cooler than the color that it appears to my eyes as so that's kind of what it made me realize you know having a guitar like this um, it's pretty much all stock uh, except I I replaced the tuners on the back here I put Grover tuners on instead they're a little bit more beefy and durable than the ones that were on before which were just uh, you know, vintage Cluson style uh, tuners, which are nice, but uh, I bumped one of them and it came undone. It uh, came off and uh, I tried to super glue it back and it just wasn't uh, very reliable after that. And it was my gig guitar, so I had to, you know, I, I couldn't have, I couldn't be worrying about that, you know, when I was playing, playing out. Um, so I replaced them, and and I like these a lot. They're good tuners. They're beefy. They're not gonna, you know, fall apart as easy as the other ones. But um, probably curious what this is. This little device here, and this is actually a, a Roland GK3 pickup, which is a synthesizer pickup, and basically it lets me use it with a Roland synthesizer. And um, and that's really cool because I can get any sound out of it. So I can play uh, you know, um, like piano parts on the guitar um, because of this pickup, or you know synth sounds, or choirs, or you know just about anything you can imagine coming from like a keyboard. That's what I can play with this pickup. The thing is, I think it's so butt ugly. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, it's just ugly, and I hate having it on my guitar. I um, I want to get uh, you know like a piezo bridge for this so that I can take this off and um, still use the synthesizer pickup. Um, but that's what that is. So I, I hope it won't be on there much longer. Um, for those of you who don't know the difference, um, this is a Les Paul Special, 
And the difference between Les Paul Special and the Standard is that uh, the Standard has a carved maple top on it. So the body is all mahogany, and then it has a maple carved top on top. However, the Specials do not have that. So it's just all mahogany without any maple on top. And, you know, this part isn't carved, so it's completely flat. Um, uh, and, the, and so the fact that it's all mahogany and no maple kind of gives it a darker tone. Um, mahogany is uh, a darker sounding wood than maple is. So it, it's definitely a dark sounding guitar. Um, but uh, I, I use it on a lot of stuff that, you know, you've seen. I've been using this in my Green Day videos a lot because it's pretty much the closest thing I have to uh, Billy Joel's. Billy Joe's um, Les Paul because uh, his is a special junior and, uh, the difference between his and mine is he has P90 uh, I think just one P90 pickup whereas these are just uh, regular uh, PAF style humbuckers uh, and these are the stock humbuckers that came with the guitar um, yeah, and so I'll also use this if I need like an SG type sound because, you know, just because of the construction, it's very uh, similar to an SG as well. Um, it's a great sounding guitar. Um, the other thing about this pickup, too, is um, the GK3 pickup is what's called a hexaphonic pickup. And hexa, meaning six, it's basically six, six pickups in one. Um, you know one piece here and the reason why that's important is because you know with a synthesizer um, it can't really can't really tell the difference um, you know between say like an E on this string versus an E on the second string or an E on the third string it's all the same frequency to a synthesizer but if you have these pickups then you know, the synthesizer can tell, well, you know, you're getting an E from this pickup that's underneath the high E string, so then uh, your synthesizer knows where it is. So that's why you need six of them there. Um, on the other hand, a humbucker, basically, you know, it has six pull pieces there, but, um, you know, it all goes out through, through one or two leads uh, from the pickup you know, to the electronics and out to the amp. So it's uh, it's not as specific as uh, the hexaphonic pickup is. So that's my Les Paul special. This is Alex Bowen saying cheese.